we see what happens. How frustrating is it to sit, be sitting on the bench with all trouble and watching you know, the offense just really couldn't do anything? <coughs> Um, it's obviously frustrating, especially when you get like these little handy, like these little unnecessary fouls. It's very frustrating. But um, I know Mark and I are a great team, so I don't have to fear anything. Um, it's, it's obviously a lot more fun to be out there. Um, but it is when, more, when you came in, do you feel you need to be more aggressive because no one can be able to do anything without you out there? <laughs> no, that was not exactly my thought, but um, I just. I, I had the vibe that we weren't really attacking, so I uh, took my heart and tried to make something happen and look for the open man. Um, happy it turned out. Sometimes it didn't turn out to be a good play, but missed a couple, I guess. Um, but that's how it goes. With, you know, kind of balancing your, your offense and your, your defense right now, you know, how, just how kind of comfortable do you feel um, doing what they're asking of you? Offensively or defensively? Um, defensively, I think I'm still in progress and there's a lot to improve, but um, I've been working on it, um, we've been working on it very intensively, intense, so um, I'm very happy today to think a little better. There's still a couple of things, a couple of scenes I'm going to watch tomorrow for sure, or two days, um, I know that already, but as I said, like, I'm giving my best at communicating the big part. The ball screen stuff that they were doing that got you into the, the foul trouble. Uh, other than yeah, other than the calling it pretty tightly, uh, yeah. what were they doing that was kind of getting you a little? I mean, they're very aggressive, especially the road point guard, who like looks was very fast. By the way, um, he used to make his way to the basket. Um, just very hard to guard um, within, the, in the, within the ball screen. So I think actually we did a great job on that too. Can't always look perfect. Can't always look good. So did you see? Um, they're a good team. He's a good player. So very happy we could have yeah, ended up with a good team. This is kind of a hard question, but you seem to always know where you are offensively. Do you always know where you are defensively? Defensively? Um, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> I mean. Most of the times, I know where I am, but the coaches want me to be somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's the problem most of the time. But um, no, I'm getting better, I think. Um, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. Is this the first time you've had a yeah, game winner here? I actually thought about that, too. Um, ever? I guess? Here? Well, here? Well, I mean, here, I think so. I don't so. think ever, because just because I don't like really, I don't really care about that, but um, I think I had a game winning uh, layup once in my life, but like that, uh, that, that crowd with that tough atmosphere, never know. Your third straight double digits just one total, and the price of the crowd was <coughs> giving you a nice ovation. We came back into the game. Are you getting more comfortable uh, being one of the guys that Michigan relies on on the offense? Um, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a good feeling when your teammates and your coaching staff and the fans trust you. Uh, that just gives you a lot more confidence in what you do and encourage you to keep doing. So I'm um, just going to feed up that. I'm very happy that my teammates especially give me that confidence or trust. Can you